Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Go Toyota Avalanche Locker Room Report. Alongside Mark Rycroft, I'm Kyle Keefe. Tough start. Team fights back. But in the end, everybody will say this in the locker room, including the head coach. No points. <laughs> and that's the way it goes. 4-3, your final at the Saddle Dome. Here's what's coming up. In the next 30 minutes, Penis, or excuse me, Peter will join us here in a second to break down the game. Joe Sacco outside the locker room in about 15 minutes. Scores and highlights from three other games in the NHL. And we'll answer the best email sent in this evening. Quick to <laughs> show you how it happened. Abs yeah, down early, but uh, P.A. Parento with a nice shot. J.P. McGinn <laughs> comes back and hits a uh, gets a goal there. Mike Camilleri, 12 seconds later, makes it 3-1, and then midway through the period, Landeskog from the corner throws the puck on net, and then Calgary always responds, and they did it all night. Mike Camilleri, his second of the night. Defense got a little confused. Uh, Colorado would add another one. It was Ryan O'Reilly, but in the end, 4-3. Um, Mark, I was, <laughs> I'm just sorry I'm so immature. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's a uh, <laughs> tough way to end it. You know, we keep going yes. through this. Uh, you know, and the players will tell you this. The head coach will tell you this. At the end of the at the end of the night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm grabbing. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, it is just tough that they didn't get the two points. <laughs> we have left this hard in a long time. Sorry, I know. folks, we'll get it together here. It's a late night, but um, <laughs> it'll be the old story once again, of course. Sorry. <laughs> Starting to soft. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's go to Peter. 4 3. Yeah. 4 3 is a tough four game. The Avalanche need to, uh, to get back, uh, obviously, in. Um, Take care of things tomorrow night uh, yes. against the Vancouver yes, Canucks, but yes, a, a tough loss here tonight in uh, Calgary. Um, one good note, how about Matt Duchesne? We were talking about him earlier. 24 face-offs he won tonight. His, his uh, record prior to that was 19. So uh, 24 uh, face-offs for uh, Matt Duchesne. Um, Peter McNabb, let's bring in Peter McNabb, and maybe he can save us here a little bit. Peter, uh, live television can be difficult at times. Uh, Pete, you know, Sunday night versus Vancouver, uh, fought hard in the third. The time, but... Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> fought hard in the third, and then again here tonight, uh, played well in the <laughs> second and the third period, but again, it's the same result. It's almost like you're saying to yourself, there's fight left in this team, but they put themselves behind the eight ball, and they're always coming back, and it's just a reoccurring theme. And you, you don't do it. You just don't do it in the National Hockey League. The points are too important for every single club the Avalanche are going to play. Every game the Avalanche play from this point on is against somebody who believes that they've got a chance to make the playoffs, a chance to make first place, a chance to win the division, the conference, you name it. And so for the Avalanche to fall behind as they did again tonight to zip against a Calgary club that, you know, they make the big trade. You know, they're, they're going on fumes right now themselves as far as trying to make the playoffs. They get the 30 points tonight, but that's still six out. The Avalanche fall back right now. They're 10 points out. And, you know, that, you're not going to make up 10 points over the course of the last 16 games, but you got to keep working, you got to keep improving, you got to keep things together. And the, the resiliency of the av Avalanche is to be commended. They worked, they fought, they tried to stay in that hockey game, they tried to catch the Calgary Flames, but again, just that one play short, and those plays too often are happening in the first period. Peter, you look at Matt Duchesne, 24 wins, only five losses in the face-off 